Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are checking out a new skin tint from one of my favorite complexion brands, Shiseido. Gin Ginza Tokyo. Ginza? Ginza. G-I-N-Z-A. Anyways, this is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Tint with Broad Spectrum SPF 20. Now, I have and love their Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. That one's like very full coverage with a natural finish. It's so nice and it's got like SPF 40 in it actually. And I also love their self-refreshing synchro whatever skin concealer. I don't have that right now. I've been meaning to repurchase it, but the thing about Shiseido is it's kind of expensive. I'm kind of into the like light coverage thing right now. The skin tint, you know, it's winter, so my skin's a little finicky. But let's see what they're saying about this skin tint and what it's gonna do for us. It says, embrace your skin with this weightless skin tint that self-refreshes nonstop with active force technology to help resist heat, oil, humidity, and motion. 24 hour hydration, light coverage, skin-like finish. Now, obviously I went a little bit avant-garde with the eyes today. So I'm really hoping that although it is light coverage, it's not gonna be like the lightest of light coverage. You know, I'm hoping it's gonna, gonna give me a little something to work with, but it is really, really cold and windy outside right now. And I will be outside for several hours today. So I don't know, it might work out great. It might work out terrible. That's just, you know, the fun of reviews. Anything could happen. It doesn't, it's, I'm not getting a super liquidy vibe from it. Um, by the way, I have the shade 215 Light Buna. Buna, <laughs> Buna, B-U-N-A. Given that it's a skin tint, I was thinking it was probably gonna be pretty liquidy, pretty runny. No, it's not quite stiff, actually. So that is different than what I was expecting. Cool, love it. I do love it, actually. I like it when it's this kind of texture. I'm not feeling like I have to get everything done in five seconds so that it doesn't run off the back of my hand. So yeah, let's just, let's just go to work and see what happens. It was a limited shade range, so we're just gonna hope this works out. Ooh, ooh, it's cold, ooh, it's cold. Wow, yeah, that is super light coverage. It kind of blended out into nothing, it seems like. And it didn't even say anything about it being buildable. So I can't even get mad at it for not building if it doesn't, you know what I mean? The eyeshadow that I'm reviewing today, I knew I was going to, or I planned on reviewing with this. And I now I'm like, why? <laughs> like, why did I choose to do a skin tint on the same day that I do like the loudest possible eyeshadow? Anyways, okay, so I've got like it half done. Like this half of my face has it on and blended out. I haven't done my neck yet. This side of my face does not. So it seems to be like evening the tone of my skin really nicely at least, but the coverage is very light, very, very light. It blends out into like nothing, it seems like. I'm gonna see if I can build it up. This is a really nice squeezy tube, by the way. You know, there's only so much like, ooh, ah, niceness that you can get out of a squeezy tube, but this is like a good quality squeezy tube. I'm also, seeing that like not a lot of product is getting absorbed into the sponge. And I think that has to do with the consistency of it. So that's kind of cool. I don't feel like I'm losing half the product to my sponge. is it's very light coverage it is very light coverage so like you can see like you can still see some of my little blemishes my little baby breakout right there so i'm probably gonna end up putting a little bit of concealer on that maybe but it does do a really nice job of like evening everything out like it is just a very light coverage sort of 
veil over the face that I'm seeing is evening out my tone and everything really nicely. The shade's not quite right for me, but it is very light coverage, so it makes it, you know, a little bit more okay. The finish is really, really nice. It feels really nice going down. It's very like, ever since the Tarte foundation, I've been very aware of like how something feels going on the skin. And this has a very like cool, cold type of feeling going down, which I like. I think it feels really nice going on. Looks great right now. Very light, very subtle, but doing its job. I love the consistency and the texture of it very easy to apply, blend it out, and just became one with the skin so nicely and so easily. So anyways, let me finish up and I'll be right back. Okay, friends, so here we are. Makeup is all done, and I gotta say everything looks really, really nice so far. So I did take some of my Fenty Beauty powder foundation and put it kind of in my T-zone, really just like right here over my chin because I've got this kind of breakout happening, and then a little bit down my nose, and a little bit in the middle of my forehead. Mostly because I was gonna put concealer there, but then I really just was like, I just wanna see it being the only cream product, how it's gonna do right there. And I kind of know how different tints and light coverage foundations do under the Fenty powder, because I use this a lot. So I think I'll still be able to judge it just fine. The rest of my face I set with my Kiko Milano Perfecting Powder, which is a super duper lightweight powder. So other parts of my face, it's like barely set basically. So I'll be really interested to see how it wears. I'll be inside a lot of today. I'll be outside a lot of today. So this foundation is really gonna get a thorough wear test. I really like it so far. I think that the consistency and texture of it's really nice. The feel going down, it's very cooling, soothing feeling when you're applying it. It blends out into the skin perfectly. It is very light coverage and it doesn't build up much, but like, they told us that, right? So we were expecting it and I honestly kind of like it. So I'll be interested to see if my skin feels hydrated, moisturized, if my skin doesn't feel like super dried out by the end of the day, because I'll be spending a lot of time outside this afternoon and it's quite windy and quite cold. So anyways, wish me luck. I will check back in momentarily and let you know how it goes. <sighs> okay, hey y'all. So I already pulled off my lashes clearly because it is that time to do those things. I almost forgot to do this thing, but then didn't. Good job, Haley. Okay. <laughs> it's been a long day and I'm tired and I have not like a close, close, close up looked at my makeup just yet. We're about to, but looking at it here, I'm like already really impressed by how like smooth and everything my face looks. Obviously like my blemishes are poking through by this point, but anyways, let me just give it a real look before I say too much and then have to backtrack. Mm, okay, 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 okay. Well, for the most part, it looks really good. I think that maybe the powder foundation, the Fenty powder foundation on top of it was a little too much because it's really just in those areas where I put the powder foundation and also those areas that I usually have problems with. Like right here in these frowny lines, a little bit right here on my chin a little bit in like my smile lines is not looking great. It's just looking a little like dried out. It's not really broken up, but yeah, I mean, everything looks kind of smooth and cool and like not, not in bad shape given how long I've had it on, which has been about 10 hours probably. You know, I was inside for like the first half of the day, outside for the second half, it was very cold and windy. So the fact that my skin's not like completely dried out, even though I had powder foundation on top of certain parts of it, is quite impressive, I have to say. I mean like over my cheeks and like the outer parts of my forehead, like certain parts of my face where I only set it with the Kiko Milano powder, 
look really, really good. Like all this part of my face and my neck, like all through here, all looks really smooth and even. I don't think it's like my new holy grail of all holy grails, but maybe it is. I don't know. Skin tints, I'm always a little bit like meh, 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 meh about just because it never gives me like full, full coverage. But this is definitely up there with like my YSL skin tint, which I absolutely love. Anyways, it's definitely a win and I'm definitely going to keep using it, especially since like, my skin doesn't feel just completely like sucked dry of all life. You know, it's not just fully dried out and cracked, but it's also not like shiny and greasy and melting away. And for the kind of conditions that I was outside in today, just like wind, cold, dirt, all of that, given all of those things for how well or for how good it still looks right now, I am pretty dang happy. So good on you Shiseido you done did it again I'm loving it let me know what you guys think about Shiseido have you ever tried any stuff from Shiseido they're very popular with skincare as well I've really only tried their makeup they're just kind of high-end expensive so it's just not something that everyone can go like pick up you know but I have really enjoyed everything that I've tried from them anyways I need to go wash my face and deal with Ooh, look at it it's raging at me right now so anyways, I'm gonna go clean my face. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay, okay. Bye.